Hi there, Bergman Lights here. I have constructed a tilt-up mega tree pole. Uh, this way you not don't have to lift up a heavy two-inch square tube, drop it in a receiver in the ground, and then lift it up and out. Uh, this system allows you to tilt it up with a winch. There's no real heavy lifting involved um, and makes it much easier to set up your mega tree. And it's it's extremely uh, stout, so quite quite secure. I bought parts from various different vendors as well as uh, manufactured some of it myself. So uh, I'll step to the various uh, parts that I got from different vendors and then we'll get down to some of the details of the construction. First of all, the top pulley, I got this from Pixel Paradise. Uh, I like the way this one looked and I like the fact that it had this top plate on here that came with it for putting guy wires on the top of the pole. All right, here I have the Matos topper. Um, it's a 64 one. I'm doing a, a half a half a tree here, so I'm doing 32 just on the front. And then attached to the Matos hopper, I have the uh, 3D printed uh, roller guides from, uh, I believe you had pronounced it, Lipsch Engineering. Um, he's been posted on Facebook and I purchased it through his Etsy page. Um, the bottom ring right here is from Matos. Um, Matos and uh, I've uh, manufactured some brackets on there to hook the bottom of the pixel strips to it and then here on the right I have three poles uh, this this one with the winch on it is for tilting up the pole so that goes in the center the other two go on the side and I bolt the uh, the, the bottom ring to this so it's all locked into place attached to the pole this part here right next to me, which is two pieces of steel tube that are parallel to each other, which is welded together. Um, and I got some of the receivers here for these uh, three pieces here. Um, I manufactured this itself as my own design, welded it together. You could also uh, bolt it together if you had it. And so these are two inch pieces of tube. And what it does with the two inch tube, here's some of the extra steel I have. This is a uh, two inch receiver, you know, receiver hitch tubing. So it's about two and a half inches outside diameter, quarter inch walls, and a standard two inch tube fits right in the side of it, just like that. And so I have two three foot pieces of this uh, cemented into the ground, and which this piece right here slides right in. I have about 800 pounds of concrete, I believe, in the ground that these re two receivers are in. So it's got a really solid base. And I left about a, oh, about an inch um, of, of soil on top of that concrete. So that way the, uh, <clears throat> we can still plant things in the, in the off season. So uh, it makes it uh, a nicer cover. And I actually have a 3D printed cap that I put on top of this in the off season so no dirt or anything gets down inside that piece of tubing. All right, so now let's kind of break down into each of the pieces and, um, and, and show you how they're made. Let's do a summary of the dimensions of my base, which the mass for the mega tree uh, connects up to and tilts over. So uh, first of all, its overall length is five feet with two feet basically that's in the ground inside the receivers. All right, and so the first piece of reinforcement, and this is a, a half inch thick piece of steel that is welded to two two by tubes, um, three sixteenths inch thick, and that's set at one foot. Next piece of reinforcement, which is on the bottom here, same size, a half inch thick piece of steel, welded at two two inch tubes, and that's set at, the bottom of it's at three feet. All right, so this overall length of this thing is five feet. Now I have uh, made some brackets here, which this is uh, receiver hitch steel, okay, square tube. I think it's like two and a half by two and a half by a quarter inch roughly, um, the thickness of it. Um, and I slide in two inch t tubes in there, which is what I hook my uh, my hoop to. Um, so this is about, this is four inches long and that's welded to a quarter inch thick piece of steel, which I have drilled and tapped 
and attach to the two inch tube. And again, right here for the center one, this one I've used a little bit thicker steel. I used a half inch because I had it laying around and then the side. So all that holds together the three pieces which connect to the hoop. And on the top of it, I have a three quarter inch uh, bolt, which I use as the main hinge. And then on the bottom, I have a hole for a three eighth inch bolt. And so when the mass tilts up, it lands up flush against this piece. And on, I slide the three eighth inch bolt through there. So I, fl so I flipped the tilt mechanism upside down here. And to show you, again, I have another half inch piece of steel, thick piece of steel which I have taken three eighth inch bolts, drilled and tapped. These are grade eight bolts because they may take some load. All right, and once the mass is, um, tilts down into this position here, like, like I said earlier, I put in a three eighth inch bolt and I also put this piece in place and bolt it down. So that will prevent the mass from tilting up and out of it. Um, with all of those, uh, that support, I think we're in pretty good shape. I don't expect this to uh, to go anywhere. So here's the pulley that goes to the top of your two inch pole. I just do a quick uh, close up of it here. Uh, you have this steel plate here, which bolts in position right here. You first set it on top of your tree. Um, there's a set screw right here that you uh, just use your Allen wrench to tighten it up and bring the, the cable over the top to hook to your topper. And then you bolt this in place. The two included uh, screws are here. Um, it uses a 532nd Allen wrench and a 916 or 716 uh, socket here. And so you just tighten it down once you got that, that cable in place. It goes over and pulls your topper up and down. And you just bolt it in position. Right, and then you take, you use some uh, D rings or some of these rings here that I got with the topper. Okay, make sure they can take the load. Uh, these take 150 pounds. Uh, I might go get some D rings that'll take maybe maybe a thousand pounds. I've got a quarter inch is about the right size for it. Anything larger than that won't quite fit. I have a three eighths inch one that is that is too uh, <clears throat> that is too big to fit in the holes here. So that's that simple, okay? And you put that on top of the pole. So here's the Matos pop, topper, all ready to get used, all right? So I have this lifting eye that came with it with the topper. It's bolted in position. Um, I have their uh, their carabiners, their hooks for the strips here. There's 32 of them here. I'm only gonna use half. This is gonna be a 180 tree. Um, and on top of it here, I have the Lips Engineering uh, roller guides that are 3D printed that bolt to it. Um, it actually fit really well. And when I put it on the pole, it just slides really easy. These roller bearings uh, work real well. Let's see, I'll get a little closer in there so you can see those roller bearings. You can see there, they just, they just roll there. Um, and there's, you know, four of them on each side, on the top and on the bottom of the exact same thing. I'll zoom in on it there. And you can see it's got its own bolts there that bolt it together. And it's just uh, pressure fit. So the, the idea behind this is it moves more easily, um, doesn't damage your paint as much on your pole. And number two, it won't like hang up when you get all your pixel strips on it. And it's lean, it's pulling forward on the tree since I'm not on 180. Uh, the back is gonna have a tendency to try and try and rise up with all the weight of the pixels. And so with these, the the, the idea, its purpose is uh, to prevent it from bunching up and so it will easily go up and down. All right, now for a close up of the hoop. Uh, again, I'm doing a 180, so I only needed three sections here. This is a Matto square tube. The reason I use square is so I could actually mount uh, these brackets, which I made a one by one uh, steel angle, um, cut it and drill the holes in it and then attach it to the pole and so you'll see here there's gonna, there's 32 of them and they get bolted together with these uh with these screws here all right that came with the pole 
And right here in the center, I bolted on um, a bracket, which will bolt to the center center pole that comes off um, perpendicular from the uh, the pole that, go, that the uh, pixels are attached to. And on the ends, I have the specially made brackets as well. The main reason I did that, um, first of all, I needed to attach it to its pole um, to secure it to the bottom of the tree as well as I wanted to keep the proper spacing. And in order to get the spacing, these are all set in the center of this bracket, but I had to move off to the side a little bit. And I did that in the front and the back, and they bolt in place. Here's the piece with the winch that is used to tilt up the, the, the mast or the pole for the mega tree that holds all the pixels on it. Um, I have a Harbor Freight worm gear wrench winch and the reason I've used that one is it goes up and down. I let go, it doesn't like free spin. Uh, it works more slowly, but it's also safer. As I'm cranking this up, if I let go, um, as I'm lowering, I don't want it to come just crashing down on top of me because I'm right underneath it. So this is a much safer option. And I think this thing was like $30 at Harbor Freight. It's, it's quite reasonable. And I bolt and bolted it into place. Um, I've always, I've drilled and tapped on my holes into the tube steel. Um, you could drill all the way through and use a, a pass-through bolt as well. Either one would work. Um, this side of it connects to the uh, the ring, the bottom ring for the mega tree. And these again are drilled and tapped, and they go through those uh, the square tubing that I just uh, walked through. And on this end of it, I have again this is bolted in place. This is a, a pulley ring. This is I got this off of Amazon. I'll have to look up exactly the model number. I'll put it in the description. But it takes a, a couple thousand pounds of load. So uh, I just I got something that's quite stout. Come around the corner here. You see that it's bolted in place with a. It's with a, I'm using grade eight bolts for everything there. And here are the side poles. Uh, essentially the same construction except it doesn't have a winch on it. And you'll see I uh, drilled holes to the side, and I have it marked on which side of the tree it goes. Um, then I, I slide a three inch bolt to lock it into position. <clears throat> and there's a hole on this one, so all that slips together. It's modular, comes apart in the off season, so it can be used. Well, on the screen right now, you see me crank at the mega tree in fast motion, uh, so you don't have to watch the whole time. It, it is slow going up, but. It does the job and it's uh, nice and safe and gets the full length of that uh, mega tree pole. Um, this video is getting a bit long, a bit longer than I like to have them. So what I'm going to do now is I'll make some other uh, follow-on series of the mega tree uh, with the setup of it um, and how I move things around. And there are a couple of bits and pieces that I may do as well. So I hope this uh, video helps somebody out there. You guys have a wonderful day.